Hi guys, my name is Sabina and welcome to another video. It has been a very long time because, you know, the usual reasons why it has been a long time. School, very busy, and just hectic stuff was going on in my life. So in the course of a month, I haven't filmed a May wrap-up and June TBR, and I also haven't filmed a June wrap-up and July TBR. So I'm gonna combine two videos together, so I'm gonna combine my May wrap-up and June wrap-up. I haven't read that many books, so together in those two months I've read se seven, this is seven or this, seven books. Um, so I'm gonna show you all the books that I read in those two months. At the very beginning of May, I finished the the Summer I Tune Pretty Trilogy, Trilogy, Trilogy by Jenny Han with the book We'll Always Have Summer. Um, I didn't really like this book. It was my least favorite out of the three. It's like the first book's my favorite and then it goes downwards a bit. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what this book is about because of course, spoilers, but I think I gave this one like a three and a half or a three out of five stars. The second book that I read in May was a Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Maas and it was a really, really, really great book. And this is the first book in a six book series, fantasy series, and we followed this girl named Selena Sedorthian and um, she is a very, very well-known assassin, but she has been captured and she's sort of like in this prison in the salt mines of, um, of Endovie, which is like a city or a, a village, and um, yeah, a lot of people die there, but then on one day, the um, crown prince and the captain of the guard they arrive there and they tell her that she can win back her freedom uh, by entering this competition to become the king's assassin, to become the king's champion is a nice word for the king's assassin. I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. I thought that it was a really great setup for this series, um, but I didn't like love, love, love it, but I really enjoyed it. So I would definitely recommend this to everyone. I'm pretty sure like 99% of you guys have heard of this book. After I read that fantasy book, I really wanted to read another contemporary and I read My Life Next Door by Holly Fitzpatrick. I got this book last year, so it was something that I really needed to read because I just really wanted to read. If I, I just really wanted to read it because if I have something on my shelves for about a year, it's time to read this book. We follow our main character named Samantha and um, her mother is very like strict and she tells her that the neighbors, the Garretts, which is like a very, very big family, that those people are kind of weird and not very good to hang out with. But then she starts hanging out with a older boy from that family and she falls in love with him and then something really big happens in the book. It's a great contemporary, I enjoyed it but I didn't love it. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars because that twist was like very frustrating and I, I really was like, whoa. <laughs> but it's not like my favorite contemporary of all time. After that a new book came out and I pre-ordered it because I just needed needed to have this one and that is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, the second book in the To All the Boys I Love Before duology, I guess. It's not going to be a trilogy, I think, which is, I would love for there to be a third book because oh, I love this duology so much. I'm not going to tell you guys what this book is about because, again, spoilers, it's a, it's a sequel, so of course it has spoilers, but the first book To All the Boys I Love Before is about this girl named Laura. Jean and um, whenever she liked a boy and she was like, okay, I need to get away from them. I need to get all the feels out. She wrote like love letters and put them in a hat box and then she would forget about the boys and you know, everything would be done with them. But then one day the letters get sent out and shit goes down. So it's all about that and everything that happens and it is a great contemporary. I think that a lot of you guys have already heard I have already heard of it, but if you haven't picked it up, it's really good. I gave it, I think, a four and a half or a five out of five stars. And I gave P.S. I Still Love You also a four and a half out of five stars. So again, school gave me a few books to read too. So I've read How I Live Now by Mac Rosoff. I thought this was kind of a weird book. It was like, is this in the now or is this like in the past or is this in the future? Because it's about this fictional war that breaks out. Her name is Daisy and um, her father has sent her to um, her family in England that she's never met, but she knows them. <laughs> Um, and she falls in love with her cousin, so it's also about incest and about this war that's going on. It was, it was an, an, a nice read. It wasn't like very, I wasn't super duper interested in the story and I didn't really like the characters in the book. It was 
also the writing style was kind of weird uh, because people didn't really say anything but the um but like you followed like the thoughts of Daisy and I don't know it was it was a nice read it wasn't something that I really wanted to read personally but I gave it like a three out of five stars it wasn't a bad book to read for school so I was pretty pretty happy with it overall and because Throne of Glass was so amazing and I heard only good things about Crown of Midnight I read Crown of Midnight and guys this book is amazing I love this so much and when you have read this book the series just goes like a different way than from Throne of Glass and it really I don't know things really started happening here I'm not gonna tell you what happens spoilers it's a sequel um, but this book gave me a lot of feels I got really attached to the characters and I'm team Kale for sure because a lot of people are team Dorian and a lot of people are team Kale and I'm team Kale but just all the feels happened in this book and it was it was so much better than Throne of Glass and Throne of Glass already was like so good and that really proves I was expecting like I was expecting that this book would like I heard a lot of people say th that this was so much better than Throne of Glass so I was like very neutral going into this book because I didn't want to disappoint myself but it was so awesome and I can't wait to read Air of Fire because I really want to find out what's gonna happen because that last page was already like what are you crazy <laughs> so I'm just so happy a five out of five stars duh and then last and least this time not last and not definitely not least is a book that I needed to read for Dutch and that was De Avonde or literally translated The Evenings by Gerard van Dreven or Gerard Dreven so this was a literal this was a literature book that I needed to read and I DNF'd it on page 150 out of 220 because it was so boring it's about this guy in um, 1947 just right after World War II and you follow his life the 10 days before the end of 1947 and it's just really boring that those years after the war were quite boring for a lot of people and that book was really boring so <laughs> I DNF'd it and I gave it like I think a two out of five stars because it was very boring it wasn't that I that it was hard to read but it was just very boring so I gave it a two out of five stars it's summer for me right now and I'm so excited to read a lot of books and contemporary books and fantasy books and just read a lot of books um, so you guys will see more videos of me because I have a lot of time now to make videos if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time bye